the solution to this example. So the first thing we need to figure out or let Excel figure out is are these valid dates or not? Because dates are just a number, there's a function in Excel called isNumber and all it does is it looks at a cell and tells you whether it's a number or not. So you'll see I get a false there because that as far as Excel is concerned is not a number and therefore not a date. There are some trues, there are numbers. Then what we're going to do is we're going to treat each of these so it looks like if it's a valid date we don't have to do anything but if it's not a valid date we need to break it apart. So if it's not a valid date it looks like it's in this format. So to pull it out if I look at it it looks like it's day month year so the day I'm going to create use a left function and say look at that and take the first two characters out and the month it looks like it's in the middle there I'm going to use a mid function I'm going to point there start at character one two three four and go for two characters and for the year looks like I can use the right function and I'm going to say look at that give me four characters okay so that's fine and when I copy this down for the ones that we worried about it makes sense and you'll see when there's, this is a proper date this doesn't make sense it's day 35 of a month, month 96 but we don't have to worry about that we'll address it so what we're going to do is just create a date and for now we're just going to go and say that's the year, uh, that's the month, that's the day and again I'm going to copy it down just keeping in mind that these here make no sense but what we're now going to do is we're going to use an if function because at this point we'll know whether it's a date or not so we're going to say please look at this test we did here and if it is false okay so it's not a number then you're going to have to use the date I calculated but if it's not if it is a number so it's a true here then what you should do is just make use of whatever you see in there when I now copy and paste this down you'll see that looks better and it's always useful just to check so 1st of September 2007, 1st of September 2007 this looks like the 1st of January 1998 1st of January 98 so always just check that it's making sense